Hi everyone, my name is Edie and I wanted to show you this TurboText party that I created utilizing the service of project broadcasting for my texting service. So what I did is I created a campaign. I do have a bundle code. I will share that at the end of this training. Um, and the campaign is set up using the time-lapsed campaign. So if you're gonna create a campaign on your own, I selected time-lapsed and the way that I have it set up is that a text is going out every two minutes for 50 minutes. That's the turbo part of this. So they're gonna start off, there is a one minute delay for the very first text that they get and I'll tell you why here in a second. Um, but then two minutes after that, they will get another text and then two minutes after that, they'll get another text and then at the 50 minute mark, they will get their final thank you text. Okay, so it is a very quick party. Um, we go over pretty much everything, all of the different products that we offer, the categories and some of the programs as well. So it's pretty thorough, but it's very quick um, and it's been quite a success. Um, all right, so there's a couple different ways that you can initiate this. Um, you can have a customer uh, send in a keyword, I'm using Turbo, um, and once they send the keyword in to your project broadcast phone number, it will have that person added to the campaign of the TurboText party automatically, okay? They are going to initiate an initial message that says you're in TurboText party initiated. Um, and this is where I have the one minute delay for that first message on the campaign because this message is going to go out immediately when they send in that keyword. And so I wanted there to be a little bit of a delay before they actually got the next message. Otherwise, they would be right on top of each other back to back, um, which I suppose could be perfectly fine, but I just wanted to have a little bit of a delay. So this is one way that you can have them initiate the text party. Now, keep in mind that pretty much every guest is going to start the party at a different time because not everybody is going to send in the word, the keyword turbo at the exact same time, right? And so there might be some flexibility there where they're starting at different times. Maybe you put a deadline as to when they text in the turbo, the, the word turbo so that you have some control over the end of the party. Okay. The other way that you can do this is you can actually go in and add contacts manually and add a tag. And if you add a tag, let's say turbo text party, um, then what happens is because you've got everybody grouped in this tag, you can then add that tag to the campaign and everybody's going to start the campaign at the same time. Okay. So I, think that that's probably the way that works best for me is I know that everybody's in the party at the same time. It's kind of like having a Facebook event or a home party where everybody's at the same time. Um, and so basically I would come in, create the contact, add this tag to that contact. If the contact's already created, then just go in and add that tag to the contact. Okay. So that's a, just a complete manual way to do that. And then you would come into the campaign and add contacts and find the turbo text party tag. And then you would add everybody that's in that tag. Okay. Um, so that's a way that you could do it. You can also automate this a little bit more, even on top of that. And what I did is I created a form and the form is the link that I'd give the hostess. So I'm going to give the hostess the link to this form and she's going to have her guests fill out the form. I can then take the spreadsheet that this form creates and upload it into Project Broadcast, including a tag. And so it'll automatically tag all of the people that are being entered through a spreadsheet. It's kind of next level. Even more next level is you can use a program such as Zapier, which is right here. And Zapier can automate everything behind the scenes. And in the bundle code, I'm going to add a video on how you can connect Google Forms and Project Broadcast using Zapier. And so what happens is anytime somebody fills out this form, 
it's automatically being added as a contact with the tag to my project broadcast. And so when that happens, then that means that they are being um, tagged and then I can come in here again and manually put everybody in the party at the exact same time. So if you are wanting the bundle for this and you wanna try it on your own, this is the bundle code. Um, I do have some information under the usage part of this code, um, including the link to linking Zapier, for, uh, Google Forms, and Project Broadcast, and this video. And so the code is right here if you are wanting to utilize that for your own purposes and to do the TurboTax party. Now, keep in mind that the campaign is set up for me and has all of my personal information in here. And so you're going to want to make sure that you go through every single one of them and change out my information for your information. Hopefully you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know.